All right, so here's how to get almost always guaranteed approvals. And the way we do this is by knowing how and when to freeze credit bureaus. So the reason why this is important is let's say for example, you had a bunch of inquiries or some late payments or collections, anything that doesn't make your file look optimized, let's say on Experian, it's a uh, low, lower credit score, you have those negatives or inquiries, then the other two bureaus like TransUnion and Equifax look just fine and they're clean. What we would do is freeze the Experian Bureau so the banks only have the option to look at Equifax and TransUnion. So this is gonna drastically increase your odds of getting higher credit limit approvals because they won't see any of the negatives from your pass on the other bureau. So a quick little disclaimer about this is this does not always work. It's uh, some certain banks are gonna be strict on pulling from that one specific bureau. But if that is the case, there is sometimes some uh, push and pull with that that you can do to increase those odds so they do pull from the more favorable bureau. So after you freeze your chosen bureau and the bank attempts to pull it from there, there are a couple things that could happen is they'll point out like, hey, we see that your Experian Bureau is frozen. We're gonna ask you guys to lift the freeze. And in that case, what you could tell them is be like, hey, I just recently experienced some credit card fraud on that credit bureau. And you could just politely ask them to pull from the others. And if they're not down to pull from the unfrozen bureaus, then let them know that you'll be applying at a later date when the frozen bureau is more accessible. So you just got to kind of play the game and see how that works out. And if they do pull from the other two bureaus, then they'll process your application, you'll get approved, and you're likely to get a hard inquiry either on one of those cleaner bureaus or sometimes uh, on the other two. So it just really all depends. Um, I will be including a link that walks you through on some of the other specific banks on their rules for pulling bureaus based on uh, past data points. So be on the lookout for that. Um, next is I'm gonna be sharing my screen and walking you guys exactly step by step on how to actually freeze the bureaus. All right, guys, so this is exactly step by step on how to freeze your credit bureaus. Again, the reason why we would want to freeze the credit bureaus is so if one of your bureaus aren't looking so hot, we want them to only look at the bureaus that are looking hot. So we want to limit at their visibility so we can increase our chances for those credit limit approvals. So I'm gonna open up three tabs. I got one for Experian credit freeze, TransUnion credit freeze, and Equifax. Again, it's up to you to decide which one looks more favorable that you want them to pull from. Um, if you're freezing all three, then the bank isn't gonna be able to look at any of the uh, bureaus and you're definitely not gonna get approved. So at most you're gonna wanna freeze uh, two, uh, two or one. So let's go here to Experian freeze or unfreeze. If you don't already have an account with these guys, create one. You're gonna sign in, boom. So right now it's unfrozen. You're gonna click frozen. Right now I don't need to actually do this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to unfrozen, but it's, it's really that simple. So pretty straightforward. You're gonna do the same thing for TransUnion and Equifax and you'll be good to go. But heck yeah, um, this will definitely drastically increase your odds for getting higher credit limit approvals. And I will see you guys in the next one.